Honey. 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 Jesus. There's no food in the kitchen. Huh, baby. I actually came back and I was feeling so tired. I had a serious headache from work. And as I came back, I couldn't cook anything. I just decided to take a rest. You know, at least... Meaning that we will we'll not eat this night or what? Yeah, we'll eat the stew there. The it's stew. Just rice. I should go to the kitchen and cook. Maybe it's just rice. Do you realize I'm just coming back from work now? I should go to the kitchen and cook. What of my daughter? Has she eaten anything? Give her something to eat. I'm just so tired. I have a very pounding headache. My head is hot. I don't know what you're planning. I don't know what you're saying. In fact, I don't know what to say. Just go there and cook something for me to eat. I don't understand. What do you mean? I'm tired and I have a headache. You're tired. I need you to have rest. headaches. You yeah. need to rest. Yeah. And we should stop. No. We will eat. Okay, fine. If you cannot, you can wait for me to just rest a bit to get my my energy back so that I can cook. Or you can just boil the white rice. I don't know. I don't know what you're up to. In fact, I don't know what you're up to. But I don't care about this. Your excuses. I don't care at all. Just go there and cook something for me to eat. What do you mean? So you want me to go and cook in the kitchen? Yes. In my condition. Which condition? I said, don't, don't you even understand the fact that my head is pain? I said I don't care. Just go there and cook something really? for me to you eat. You don't care? Yes, so I don't, you don't care. don't care about me? I don't care. I just want my food. Period. So you want me to go and cook in the kitchen? Okay. If you're one of those African men with such mentality, this calls for a change. Maybe no one is telling this to you, but really sad that you people still lost such mentality. If your wife is ill, you should help her. If your wife is not in the position to do what she normally does, you should help her. Do not think that just because you're an African man, she owes it to you to do everything. Onim. Onim. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -uh, this one you're lying down. Is everything okay? I feel a pounding headache in my head. My head is really, really aching. Since when? Since I closed from work, all the way through from work to home, I felt like my head was going to fall down. Have you taken medications? I have not. Oh, come on now, you should have taken something to calm it down. I'm hungry, I'm not eating. I didn't have any energy to boil rice and you know they stew in the kitchen. We have to already, right? Yeah. No worry, I'll go and make rice for you. Thank you. So you can be able to take your medications. Okay, uh -huh. baby. You should have even you. called me now. I didn't want to disturb you because no, I wanted next to time, rest and Next time, next time, it. call me. Call me. I will leave whatever I'm doing. I will come and take care of you. Thank you so much, baby. What of my daughter? She I gave something. her something. I gave her something to chew. You know what? Just rest let me just go and make something for you my shower too. which so one do you want first you want to take your shower you want to eat which one first i can put okay this is gas i can put hot water on the other one and use the other one to make rice okay okay baby don't worry i'll fix so it so i can rest first angel come over here my, hey guys what's wrong mommy yeah mommy is not feeling fine you didn't tell me when i came in It's okay, I want to go and fix something for both of you now, okay? What? Yeah. Do mommy and me? Yeah. Really? Alright, baby, take care of yourself. Just rest for a while. There you have it, ladies. You see? See how easily 
you know, a good husband would usually treat a wife who's not feeling fine. See how easily that went? You see how, I think, you see how loving and caring this second guy is, right? All because of his total understanding of the situation. Not because he's hungry. He's not being selfish like the first guy. Yes, he's hungry, but he cares more about the wife's, you know, state of mind. He cares more about his wife's health. And he also cares to help the wife, knowing that she also came from work. Unlike the first guy, who didn't care and felt like just because, yes, he's the husband, he's an African man, therefore, he deserves to be cooked for. So my ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Choose which of those guys are you going to be when you get married? Because believe you me, the scenarios, they play out every day in the life of the married people. So choose wisely what is going to be. Are you going to be husband A or are you going to be husband B? There you have it. Have a good day.